This is Brendan with EastIdahoNews.com. In this video, I want to show you some of the new features that are coming out with Windows 10. So that's the newer version of Windows. Um, we've had 8 and 8.1. We skipped 9 altogether, and now Windows 10 is finally here. It's being released on July 29th, and it's a free upgrade if you uh, already have Windows 7 or Windows 8. So let's take a look. I'll show you what Windows 10 is all about. So this is the Windows 10 desktop environment. It should look pretty familiar if you've been using Windows 8 and 8.1. And it's also not too dissimilar from Windows 7. One thing I really like is this menu bar they have in the bottom left hand corner here. So it used to be when you clicked on this on Windows 8, it'd take you to the full screen of apps and it'd lock you in there and you maybe didn't know how to get out of it right at first. This is much more intuitive and something we're kind of familiar with from Windows 7 and previous versions. Also, like if we click on settings, it's a separate window that we can minimize and bring back up. We can close it if we want to. So it's just, I didn't like being locked in on Windows 8, and most people didn't. I think that's why my Microsoft had changed it. Um, one thing you'll notice about Windows 10, it no longer has Internet Explorer. Instead, it comes with a browser called Spartan. So this is the Spartan browser. It's supposed to be optimized for um, loading content faster, being quicker and more secure. So that's something uh, kind of neat. And then also you'll notice the windows are kind of more, uh, what's it called? They just like s snap to the sides. So the desktop management, when you drag these windows around, um, they're, they're kind of resize themselves and make it easier to work with multiple uh, windows at once. So that's kind of neat. Um, there's a personal digital assistant, sort of like Siri for the Apple devices. Um, it's called Cortana. So if we click on the microphone here, we can just say, Open Firefox. Opening Mozilla Firefox. So that's kind of like that. And you can do web searches. You can do all kinds of different things. You can also just type down here where it says, Ask Me Anything. You can type in um, uh, whatever, nearest McDonald's. And it'll come with some web searches, and we can actually search on the web. We can also search on this computer if we want to find like a file called like homework dot like a text file. It'll search the computer and try and find different files on the computer. Something cool too, you can enable it. I already have it enabled, where I can just say, "Hey Cortana, what's two plus two? That makes four. So. That's, uh, that's kind of a neat feature for Windows 10. I'm excited to see how that kind of develops and unfolds. Um, there's also been some under the hood developments and improvements for gaming and graphics, um, if those are if that's your kind of thing. Also support for like high speed USB devices, USB 3.0, those kinds of things. Um, the re official release date for Windows 10 is July 29th, 2015. So after that date, you can upgrade to it completely free if you have Windows 8, 8.1, or Windows 7. It's a free upgrade as long as you upgrade within the within 12 year, uh, months, within the first year of it being released. So I'd encourage you to do that if you want to claim your upgrade. Um, the way you'll do that in the bottom right-hand corner of your Windows 7 or Windows 8 computer, there'll be a little Windows icon that appears. You may have seen it already. Click on that icon. It'll give you instructions on how to upgrade. Um, and it should just upgrade seamlessly. You'll keep all your files and everything, your programs. It'll just upgrade it to Windows 10. So, uh, and also, if you're using an older computer, like this computer I'm using is actually several years old. It was an originally shipped with Windows Vista, and I'm just running the Windows 10 preview on it right now, but it has four gigabytes of RAM. It's a dual core processor at three gigahertz. So it's nothing really super special. So even older hardware um, seem to run okay on Windows 10 at this point. Well, I hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and comment below and uh, share this video with your friends if you think they'll appreciate watching it. And check out some of our other videos. Take care.